No, I can't. I can't. We come in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and it is good to be together. Oh, I'm not on it. Open up again. There we go. Good morning, everyone. We come together in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and it is good to be here. Listen to the psalmist, Psalm 24, as he makes this declaration. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. So who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord, vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. Lord God, as we come this morning, this is what we need to be heard again, that you, you are over all, that the earth is, so the earth is yours and all that is in it. And we are so thankful that you have not said, I'm going to take my toys and go home. <laughs> that you have said, I'm going to stick with this people and I'm going to work my salvation because I love them. And I am going to I have a people for myself. And I love them so much that I will give my son Jesus Christ. Thank you that you are our king. May our hearts be captured by your love this morning. In your word, in singing, in sharing, in prayer. Spirit of God, come that we might be transformed by you and not by this world. And even now as we pause for a moment to think and we ask that you forgive us for the ways in which we have not reflected your beauty, your glory, your life this week. Teach us some individually as to where you are working in our lives, what you're going to do. You would have mercy on us that our ears would be open to you, our eyes to see, and our hearts to receive. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Rick and Dara are on a birthday weekend camping, and so will you get the Chris and Mark show. I'm, I'm singing, Chris is preaching. <laughs> Let's stand together and sing if you would like.
for this living hope we have. Jesus Christ. Amen. You receive it. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you feeling this morning? Are you feeling like this? <laughs> yeah, about uh, two hours ago, that's exactly how I felt. <laughs> or perhaps you're feeling like this, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. By the way, this is the sort of the origin of the word, is that something like a squirrel, you know, like has just busy working, full of life. I hope it's the second one, even if you're feeling like this, I hope it's the second one. Did you know that it's possible to feel like that and like that? As Christians, we get to live in both realities sometimes. I pray you're feeling, though, like this. Why? Because as we've just sung. Why? Because God is faithful. He's faithful to his promises. He's faithful to his people. Why? Because we have a hope that is steadfast and certain, Jesus Christ. Why? Because as believers, we have God's very own spirit living within us. Why? Because the suffering we are going through, the aches and pains, the sickness, the injury, the disappointments, the fears, the ugliness, the uncertainty, all the stuff that ought not to be is nothing compared to the glory God is working and revealing in us. 